All right, welcome to back to video two of the banana pudding. So it came out of the oven. That's what it looks like. Mine went about um, 15 minutes. Uh, see how brown your little peaks and stuff get? Now, if you want it a little bit more browner, just leave it in there a couple more minutes. So I've let this sit for at least over 20 minutes. So it's done. So let's kind of get in here. And see what we got. Ooh, look at that. Don't that look good? Alright, now let's try it. Now you don't have to do a meringue top. You can put some crushed vanilla wafers over the top if you wanted to. Let's try it. It's still popping hot. You see the steam coming off of there? Let's get a piece of the cookie. And a banana. And some of the pudding. I haven't had this in years. At a restaurant one time. Super, super yummy. That is really good. Can't believe I haven't made it before now. That's super tasty. Larry, you're right. Super tasty. Now, a lot of people use it, eat it warm, like hot like this. No, not hot, hot, but cool down. Some people put it in the refrigerator and let it uh, chill, then serve it. So, however you want to serve it, it's totally up to you. Super tasty though. That custard is so pudding custard is so good. So that's what we're having tonight for a dessert for my birthday. Happy birthday to me. This is so good. See you in the next episode of Sims Sarah. Bye everybody.